Holiday season 2017 is in full swing, and that means doing good things for our community and helping our islands less fortunate because that, as Guamanians, is what we do. Our friends at the Salvation Army are here, Captain Tom Stambaugh and C.J. Arquico. Gentlemen, half a day. Half a day. All right, and happy holidays to you both. Let me be the first one to say that because I know, aside from the part when we actually see you and work alongside with you on your various community service endeavors, we're not going to be seeing a whole lot of you guys because you guys are working hard. Yeah, it's that time of year. We start... All of our crew starts working hard. Our kettles are going out. Thanksgiving's being prepared. Toys are coming in. So, yeah, it's a, it's a busy time of the year for us. Um, in the next couple of weeks, specifically because Hall or Thanksgiving, I should say, is right around the corner, um, the annual luncheon is something that the entire community always takes a lot of pride in. Yeah, it is. And this is our 21st year of doing it. Uh, the Salvation Army has been able to do it with partnership with our Lighthouse Recovery Center. And it's at Chamorro Village again, like we've always done in the Fest Pack area again. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Last year we did 1,500 meals. And so uh, we're gearing up for that same amount or maybe more. Um, and again, it's open to the community, whoever wants a meal, uh, to come on down and have fellowship. And, uh, of course, there's always great volunteer opportunities as well for people to come and serve a meal. So mm -hmm. it's a great time. Well, CJ, you and I have known each other for going on like 25 years now. Did you just dated us? Dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but you, you were telling me before the interview actually started. When they invented the internet, they exactly. were around. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. 300 baud modem. Yeah. Well, when you started working with the Salvation Army, um, you were even saying you knew it was going to be a lot of work, but it's really never been like a job because truly it's a labor of love. It's a mission. You know, it's, uh, it's very meaningful work. It's probably some of the most meaningful work that I've ever done. And um, I'm happy to be bringing back, um, right after Thanksgiving, we're doing our kettle kickoff, our red kettle kickoff. I, you were a part of it for quite a bit, right? For several years. For several really years, so. right? I, I see photos of you and Sonia Otero and the nostalgia. You know, now, there is a blast from the past. Right, right, sure. right, right. So, yeah, so um, we haven't done it in a bit, but we have a... We have a partnership happening with the Ganya Shopping Center and SM Island Store. And they're actually, I haven't even, we haven't had any time to talk, right? Um, Good time. Yeah, it segues into, uh, we also have, and this I just found out from SM last Thursday, late Thursday, and confirmed this morning, that SM will also be launching an SM Care Bear program where they're going to sell these bears. And you know Tom's shoes, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So when people buy this $9.99 bear, they donate one to our Toy Enjoy as well. So I'm hoping, you know, Guam buy, you know, 2,000 of these. Very excellent. You know, because last year we gave away 2,503 toys to, oh, 2,503 kids, rather, received over 6,000 toys. And we, we think the need will be greater this year. Outstanding. So, but it's crazy, right? It's like, you know, uh, Salvation Army, again, your shopping center is hosting us. And then this Care Bear thing that just came out of, you know. Well, Cap, one thing about you, you guys and girls, guys and gals at the right. Salvation Army, you guys never ask for any of the credit for this and everything like that. But the one thing that you always humbly request is that the community can come out and help. And again, as islanders and everything like that, that's something that we always take a lot of pride in. We're like, how can we help someone who for whatever reason, is not in a very good position in life right now. So what can we do to help? Well, uh, if you, anyone could donate. If they want to donate a, a, news, a new toy uh, to the Salvation Army, they could bring it to uh, the Tijan office, and we can put it in for our, as we set up the classrooms for our Toy, toy and Joy program. Um, it, or they can also participate in the Toys for Tots program that's going to be around the island in a partnership with the Marine Corps uh, here on the island. Uh, for Thanksgiving, again, it's uh, calling uh, our numbers and being able to uh, come, you know, come volunteer and help out and uh, see, see the, the transfer, this putting somebody's smile on somebody's face for the holidays, whether that's a little kid with a toy or whether that's serving mashed potatoes to somebody who's hungry. Now, either way, it's giving back and uh, obviously it's God honoring. And so, you know, we, we always want that to be the prime objective uh, is for, for the Lord to get the glory from what we're doing. Absolutely. So um, if we would like to volunteer, um, we go to Chamorro Village on Thanksgiving Day. What time should we go there? And do we have to bring anything like gloves, hair nets, or anything like that if we would just like to help serve? Uh, I would think that that's always acceptable to bring your own supplies no. if, if you have aprons. But we have, we have supplies. Uh, our dinner goes from 10 to 2. Um, and uh, I'll let CJ elaborate more on that. Uh, actually, I just got word that, that for volunteers for Thanksgiving, the slots have been filled. 
Okay. LRC had, had just told me, confirmed today. So well, that's awesome. That is and awesome. That's, it's be, great because normally there's because <laughs> normally there's a couple hundred volunteers. So, yeah. so the fact that there have been that many people who have volunteered well, is I, amazing. I even received calls this morning from people trying to volunteer, and and luckily I'd, I was already told. And they said last year they came over, and even though they were signed up. They were turned away because a lot of people show up on the day of. So we'll tell you what, now we're, we can direct people to buy those Guam Care Bears and yeah. we can direct people to actually give toys. And we'll also, um, kettles, our red kettles, we need volunteers for that. Yes. We want to fill that, that up. We, are, we have a pretty um, reachable goal, I think, mm -hmm. right, okay. this year. And, and we really need the community's help. Um, all of the funds raised f from the kettles, they stay on Guam to help fund all the amazing programs. I'll we'll tell you have. what, guys. We'll have you back on right before the Red Kettle um, drive begins. But as for now, we got to head out. So thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. We'll see you. Thanks, Thanks Jason. All right. Please stay tuned. We're back. <laughs>